Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is the Fort Worth Fabric Studio Stay Spooky Sew so Along Week 3. As you can see, I've got my blocks from the last few weeks on the wall behind me, the black houses and the cute churn dash pumpkins. Today, we are going to make some more houses. If you hadn't guessed from the pieces, yep, more houses. <laughs> but they are the orange houses today, so I'm really excited to get these made. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all my pieces laid out here. Um, these pieces are going to make the house, the main house part, and this is going to make the roof. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our roof unit. And to do that, you'll need a marking pen. And you'll need to draw a line on the back. Let me scooch these out of the way for a second. On the back of these squares here, from corner to corner. So there's that one. Okay, and then we're going to sew these onto this square on each corner. And you can sew them, take them both and sew them at the same time because they're not going to touch in the middle like a flying geese. It's sort of made like a flying geese, but they don't cross like a flying geese does. So I'm just going to lay these here and I'm going to sew both of these. And you're going to make four of these units because we're making four of these house blocks all together. I'm going to go ahead and sew both of these. Oop. Helps if you have thread in your needle. So that's both of those. Now I'm just going to trim these away a quarter inch from that sew line. And then we'll have a roof unit that looks like that. Sherman press. And just had my ruler. Now I can't find it. There it is. <laughs> And that's quite a bit of scrap, so you can save that for another project if you like. Or if you're not a scrap quilter like I am, you can save it and donate it or do whatever you like. But pretty good size piece there. Leftover. So now I'm going to press this. Put some pressing solution on there. And hopefully I've remembered to turn my iron on. I think so. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and press this. Now, normally we say press to the dark side, but I'm pressing these out. I think they're going to lay a lot nicer if we do that. But that's a decision that's completely up to you. And that is our roof unit done. So you're going to make four of those. I'm going to set that aside for now. And I'm going to grab the house pieces. Now, you're also going to make four of these. But what you, I want you to do is pay really close attention to these rectangles right here. So first of all, they're directional. So pay attention to the fabric. But second, as you can see, the one that will be on the right-hand side of the house is bigger than the one that's going to be on the left-hand side of the house. So make sure that you orient those correctly. That guy, which is going to be the door of the house is going to go right in between the two. So smaller door, larger. So if you're, this is your left, middle, right hand section. And after we sew these three together, we're going to put this one right on top. And that's going to make our house body unit. So let's go ahead and do that. So 
So the construction on these is a little bit different, very similar, but a little bit different from the black houses that we made. The body of the house are, are a little bit different. So they're a bigger house. So I'm going to finger press this for now towards the orange and then I'll put the other side on and then, um, then I'll press them both with the iron at the same time, just to save a little bit of time. And don't forget to make four of these again. Make sure you're checking the directionality of your fabric and don't do what I did in the first week and sew your house on upside down. <laughs> eh, it happens. Stuff happens. Luckily, it was a really easy fix. <laughs> okay, let me get those. A press with my iron and then we'll put that top piece on and again that's directional so make sure you've got it all going the same way if you're anything like me which you might not be and it might not matter to you but I have a little bit of OCD and when directionals are upside down it really messes with my head so <laughs> all right here's that house this is the top of that house and then once I add that, we can put the roof on. So go ahead and add this piece, then we'll press it and then we'll put the roof on. solution flip that guy over and grabbing the iron ironing is definitely a very important step make sure you iron between each step um i've seen a lot of blocks lately people are posting on not for this group but for other groups other so longs that are going on where it kind of looks like some people aren't ironing between each step and then they put their block up and they show it and they say why does it look all crooked and I could tell right away that um some people just it just needs an iron that's all I know it adds time but it really will help your block come out better okay so now we're going to put the roof on the body of the house and then we're going to be done quick and easy block There we go. There's our house. So I'm going to go give this a press and I'll come back and I'll show you all of my houses. Well, that's it for this week. I hope that you enjoyed these blocks. This was a fast one. <laughs> I got it done in less than 10 minutes. So you could probably get all four done if you chain piece them in 20 minutes, half hour. So nice to have a week that goes really quick like that. So here are the little houses. They're so cute. As you can see, they're a bit wider because there's a black one there behind me. Um, then the black ones, they're bigger. Uh, there you go. Although the blocks are the same size. It's just that the house is bigger. So that's all I've got. That was week three. Stay tuned for week four coming up next week. And then the final week, week five, we'll put all this together. Have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.